Okay, hello. This will be a very short video. I only want to give you a small update. I'm going to the labor inspection, no, labor standards inspection office. Yeah, I would just like let you know what happens afterwards. Of course, I won't go inside. I thought just it'd be fun to document the process because I already started it by posting the first video. Why not just document everything? Yeah, I am going with my friend that speaks Japanese so he can help me if I don't understand something. Also, emotional support. I avoid going to authority at all costs, usually. I'm a little bit nervous actually. And also, I'm not quite sure what to bring. Yeah, so... Let's go to the labor standard inspection office. Ikimashu. So I've just been at the labor office and basically they told me that I'm eligible for the 60% of my salary. They told me what I should do like step by step and told me all the papers I need. So the next few days I'm going to my work, to my restaurant and I'm gonna ask them for the papers. I hope they will give them to me, like I hope everything will work out. Basically they say I have a really good chance of getting my 60% payment. So I think it worked out fine. At first I was worried how they're gonna treat me also because because I'm a foreigner and they were really kind to me and really helpful but I think it's it was really a big help that I had a Japanese friend with me because every time I didn't understand something they could just like explain it to my friend so if you are a foreigner you will definitely be fine but I think it will always be a little bit easier taking someone with you who is Japanese or can speak it fluently just so that the officer has an easier time and you don't inconvenience them so basically good experience <laughs> I recommend. <laughs> I'm going back home now and I just update you when I went to my work and what they say. Guys, 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 guys. Guess what? It's a couple of days later and I asked my coworker if you can go to my boss and just like ask her to prepare the papers that I need. I told you in the first video, they didn't make it clear. They said like it's a vacation and not that I'm fired. So I asked them if they can prepare the paper. Like if I'm fired or on vacation, so I can come and pick them up. And they said that they want to pay now. Look, what they were saying is that they want to pay for October, like this month, 60% of my salary. I guess it's a happy ending. <laughs> they they said that but i still have no paper uh no proof or no money you know but they say they're gonna pay also my coworker told me i'm not the only one that got fired or laid off that's the situation so i'm gonna get paid for this month which is great i want to take this minute this time to so just say like thank you again for everyone who was worried and supported me and also a big thank you to people who supported me through the super things you really helped me out in this time without you i did, would not go to the office so now my life is a little bit easier mm, i think that's everything i wanted to say but like even though they they technically only laid me off it's still <laughs> not easy to find a new job when i'm gonna tell them that my visa expires in four months it's like no one can provide me a working visa because i don't have a university degree because i came here after high school uh, because this video is so short i just want to take a few seconds to remind you that i have an instagram also and a twitch account so if you are bored you can check it out and if you cannot get enough of me on youtube you know what to do <laughs> okay bye guys wish you good luck Bye-bye.